Uh, you mentioned, we were talking about it before we went live, uh, Topo I Samaris. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, could you touch on that maybe for the audience? I think that would be a good topic. Okay, now the thing is, think of DNA, it, it's it's a double helix. You know, it's like a, a, a long coiled molecule. I mean, some of you who are older might remember when you had landlines with telephone coils, okay? I mean, I'm showing my age a bit, uh, I guess. Um, the point is, it's uh, DNA of each of your your trillions of cells. It, it take one of the DNA from one cell. If you lined everything up end to end, it would be about two meters long. But it's only a few atoms thick. And you think of coils; they get tangled up very easily. So, in fact, living things all have a detangling enzyme and different types of them called topo isomerases. And one class is called gyrase. Okay, but what it does, it snips the DNA and does a bit of, of rearranging and then splices it together again. See, otherwise, DNA would be tangled up and you couldn't actually decode it because it would get tangled up when you try to decode it, but you get tangled up when you try to reproduce it. You see, so without these enzymes working in every living thing we have, DNA would be too tangled up to use. So you think of, of what topo isomerase means. It has to, have to do three things. It has to cut, it has to move, it has to splice back together. See, any one of those um, processes would, would be would not be good enough. You'd have to have every one of them working together. So, in fact, one class of antibiotics that you might take if you're really quite sick is called the um, fluoroquinolone antibiotics. And what that does, it stops the topoisomerase putting the thing back together again. So the bacterial topoisomerase go through the, the DNA, they chop it up, but don't put it back together. So DNA is chopped to smithereens and the bacterium dies. Incredible. Uh, but then the other chicken and egg type problem is that the instructions to build to apply a sum rate are coded on the DNA, but you can't read those instructions unless you have topo isomerase in action, making sure <laughs> the thing doesn't get tangled up in the process of trying to read it. So you've got the thing that the DNA can't work without topo isomerase, but you can't build the topo isomerase without the instructions, which can't be read unless you've got those enzymes already doing their work. So oh, it's it's so bad for them. It Chicken and egg problem after chicken and egg problem. Oh, well, it then, goes all the way, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's amazing.